Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the top bullshit goals of the season. This is where we're taking all the number one bullshit goals in each episode and mashing them into one big episode for us all to enjoy and all to look back on. Top five bullshit goals will return in FIFA 16. I won't be doing it every week because I've got other ideas for the channel. I hopefully will be opening it up to the public so that you lot can send your goals in. But for the meantime, enjoy. This is the best bullshit goal of the week. This is Lewandowski from deep, chick through ball over to Robin. And you know there's bullshit when he's there. Deflected shot. Oh, there's a gang bang in the area. Oh, it's trickled in. Let me see that replay. That was quite amazing. Oh, it comes off his neck. He takes out the opposing player and he can't recover in time to stop the goal. And Kadira runs through the goalkeeper like he's a piece of paper. At number one this week, boys and girls, is quite an amazing clip. Player runs into the area, cuts inside, shots with his right foot, comes on the play off the post and he's gone in! Oh, I don't know how that happened, but look, we need a, a close-up slow motion replay. It hits the defender who's tracking back, goes onto the post, there's nothing the keeper can do at that stage, but the ball trickles across the line. Now the keeper comes into play and you think he's going to palm that ball away, but then amazingly, fouled by the attacking player, not given, and the ball goes in. This is incredible at number one, Real Madrid versus Real Madrid, okay, defending a corner, shot from Ronaldo I think it was, saved, but then James Rodriguez kicks himself up the arse and then Ronaldo's there to put it home, that, we've never seen this in bullshit goals of the week, one player kicking himself, there you go look, up the arse, that's, look at this, you can watch this all day long, pure bullshit. This is number one. Cross from the left. There's the flick on. Oh, he's, he's dived, is he? No, no penalty. Oh, my word. Confusion. My word. What on earth happened there? Oh, there's a headbutt. Oh, the defender then takes out the goalkeeper and volleys it home. There's the attacking player headbutted out of the way, but don't worry. The defender balances the ball on the back of his head, volleys it in, dumps the keeper on the floor. He does a face plant. Then the defender does a somersault into the net to complete the bullshit number one goal. He doesn't even know what he's doing, but he does when he's celebrating. Look at that! Oh my god, in time with the music. Sexy moves, Romelu. Anyway, at number one this week, this is Ellison cross into the box. Oh my god! Oh, he's gone in! It missed everyone! Well, Fleming is running away celebrating, but... My word, cross comes in, it goes through that defender, goes through the goalkeeper, there's another defender there. None of them can stop it. He does actually get a touch, does Fleming. But my word, that defence, they had other ideas. Oh, it goes through that first defender, I'm absolutely certain, on that last replay there. And the goalkeeper gets up, finds the ball in the back of the net, and actually he's disappointed because he also bought FIFA 15 and realises that EA Sports only wants your money! Well, that joke kind of worked, I suppose. Okay, this is the best bullshit goal of the week. At number one, Oxley chamberlain running down the wing for England. He's going to get into the area. What's he going to do? He's going to put the ball into the area. Oh my god, Koscielny with a bad touch! And Sturridge! Oh my god! Koscielny and the goalkeeper. Look at them. Whoa! Massive collision. And Sturridge is there to pick up the pieces. Slot it home. Koscielny and Chesney, the goalkeeper. Wow, they must not be happy. And there's Koscielny. Oh, he's slapping. Oh, he's slapping the goalkeeper's cock. Oh, my God. You saw the goalkeeper's reaction there. Rumour has it that this goal is one of the best bullshit goals we're ever going to see. Juricic running through. Through ball to Dermic. He's got a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He has a shot. And, oh my god, he's got in! Oh my word, have you ever seen anything like that in your life? He has a shot, Dermic. The keeper didn't even dive the weakness of the shot. Made sure he didn't have to dive, but that defender, where did he come from? Ladies and gentlemen, we have some new technology, and they call it colour technology. Look at this, I can't quite believe my eyes, but anyway, this is Rossley Barkley getting into the area. Oh, he gets it back off the other team, has a shot, and it comes off the defender, goes in. My word, he did a spinning pirouette, had a shot, hit the defender, the goalkeeper didn't know what was going on, and uh, Rosley Barkley scores the goal, there's the guilty defender, my word. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 
the best bullshit goal of this week. The corner comes in. Dermich has nodded it back in, but Elia? Oh my god! My word, there's so much bullshit in this goal. I didn't quite see everything. We've got to see a replay. I think the corner came in. Dermich got his header to it. Elia was there. I'm sure he was fouled, but he carried on. It was a delayed animation for Elia. Look at this. Yes, he's fouled. There's the delayed falling over. He gets his head to the ball. And Krull, well, he, my word, what was Tim Krull doing? I think the editors were just pausing the video there just to show how delayed Krull's reaction was. It's amazing that nothing was going to stop that goal. Absolutely nothing. Not even a nuclear warhead. But anyway, at number one, what is this goal? Let me see. This is Dermich. And he's got the ball, he's turned his man, and he's coming through on goal. This is going to be good, I'm sure. Oh my god! What on earth happened there? He has a shot. It's Courtois again. He's a new bullshit goalkeeper. Let me see. Oh my god! <laughs> We've seen it all. We've seen it all now. Courtois, you're a legend. Absolute legend. But at number one... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what this is. Messi with a through ball to Aguero. He's got a one-on-one -on -one against Casillas. Oh my god, they've had a collision. And Aguero puts it in. My word. Well, you'd think Casillas, with all of his abilities and attributes, would have been able to pick that up. He actually dives twice. Second time, he dived kind of out the wrong way. There he is, look. Doesn't even dive in the way of the ball. Complete letdown from Casillas and Aguero does a massive 180 degree spin. Scores the goal and there's Casillas screaming in pain. Aguero, Messi or whoever it is running away celebrating. But my god! He, I don't know, he must be on drugs. I don't know what that was. It wasn't a dive. He didn't try and catch the ball. I don't know. Anyway, at number one, Ronaldo doing loads of tricks. And Pepe comes across with a tackle. Oh my god, he's taking out his teammates, Carvalho. Oh, Ronaldo! Oh my god, it was Carvajal. I couldn't even say his name properly, I don't know why, but anyway, Pepe, perfectly timed tackle, but he takes out Carvajal, and the ball is underneath Carvajal, and Ronaldo still manages to get that ball. This goal was going in, this ball was going in, regardless of what the defending team did, and there's Ronaldo celebrating, because he's going to get yet another Bukaki. My word, that was an incredibly... Massive bullshit goal, but at number one, ladies and gentlemen, is as follows. The attacking team are coming forward, and there's a through ball, and he gets in one-on-one. -on -one. The keeper saves it. Attempted clearance. Oh, my God. Massive mix-up with the defenders. The keeper saved it. We need a replay, of course. Here it is. The keeper saves it. Oh, he kicks it against the keeper. Then the last defender does a backwards somersault. He falls over. Oh, my God. And the player runs in, scores. Anyway, at number one, Smeltzer. Oh, he's gone past Cabal and getting into the area. Nice little ball to Ramos. Saved. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? Ramos had the shot. It came off the keeper, went straight back to Ramos. I mean, it was like it was magnetised to his foot. That doesn't even make sense, but I don't care. You get my point. Look, oh, this is the best replay to show. Oh, it, it went onto his other foot. He had a shot with his left foot off the keeper. I think it's Tim Howard in goal. Yes, it is. And onto Ramos's right foot. And it just goes in. Nothing anyone can do there. And that was a good bullshit goal. And he embraces with Smeltzer. Oh, my God. It looks like they're going to kiss. Oh, I don't want to see that. My word, ladies and gentlemen. But at number one this week is Ramos running down the wing. And he's got so much pace. Nothing can stop him. Cross comes in. Oh, there's a bit of a mix-up, is there? Oh, my God, Aubameyang trips over. This is Smeltzer. My God. What on earth happened there? There was failed clearances, fouls, dives. The keeper came out, missed it. We're going to see the replay. Oh, oh, he takes out Aubameyang. Aubameyang is absolutely destroyed. Anyway, at number one, I don't know why the editors are putting penises into my episode. But at number one, this is Remy getting through. Oh, there's a bit of, there's a touch of death from the defender. Remy has a shot. Oh, he comes off the post, off the defender, off the other post. And not me. Oh, my God. How many times did we see a bit of bullshit? 
I'm in this goal. Henri sliding in, but it come off the keeper, off the post, off the other post, off the defender. Henri just launches himself, and that defender is dumped on the floor. And there he is celebrating. Surely we don't have any penises. Oh, thank God. We don't have any penises. Oh my God. There he is celebrating. Oh my God. Really? What the fuck's going on? Henri is getting mouth raped. Anyway, at number one, through ball, and uh, the keeper comes out. No, he doesn't. Chips over the keeper. Oh, it's a double save. And here comes the cost of fucking players. Oh my God, he's got in. And he runs away celebrating. Patronin, whatever his name is, saved by the keeper, double save, and look, they're all coming in. Oh my god, and it ends up as a complete and utter gangbang in the net. They're all trying to get in there, look at them, all of them dirty bastards, and the, the crowd are going mental, of course. They are absolutely disgusted with themselves, and I'm not surprised, that was top bullshit. But anyway, at number one, Glenn Johnson, on the right hand side, and the cross comes in, and Balotelli's there, this stand, Coleman falling over, oh my god, he's gone in! I have no idea who scored, what happened, let's get a replay, Coleman, he's, he's taken out by this stand who's on the floor. Look, Coleman's, oh my god, Sterling, with his size 4 feet somehow gets in there and scores. I still don't really know what happened, but the best bullshit goal of the week. Cavani gets to the byline and he chips it in. Dante heads it away and this is Fakir with a shot. He's in. Oh, he's got in. Oh, my word. We've got to see a replay. Dante heads the ball away. Fakir with his left foot and it's another defender-goalkeeper mix-up. It comes in. I'm not sure who that defender is. Look at the keeper, he takes out a defender. It's David De Gea as the goalkeeper. And the ball comes off one of them and goes in. And ladies and gentlemen, at number one, we've got Balotelli. I think this goal was actually in the same game as the previous one. Markovic back to Balotelli, cross inside. Comes off Jagielka and the keeper. Oh my God, what did he do? Why did he do that? We've got to see a replay. Balotelli with the cross, comes off Jackie Elk. It was going for corner. Why did Tim Howard have to get involved? Sterling wraps his leg around Baines. Probably not the first time he's done that, if I'm honest. Only EA Sports knows. Not even fucking God knows himself. Anyway, this is the best bullshit goal of the week. Yun Suk Young with the ball. Hits it. Oh, it's hit the bar. The keeper was nowhere. He couldn't even get up in time. And there's a bit of pinball in the box. Anua to, this is Joey Barton, chips it in, and the defenders are running back, and, oh, the keeper's come out, oh my god, oh my word, that was one hell of a long clip, the defenders couldn't get rid of it, but the keeper, at the end, admittedly there was a defensive fuck up, but the keeper should have came out and smashed them all up, including the ball, but he didn't do so, and look at the keeper, look, oh, he just, no, he goes down to his knees as if, look, Oh my word, and like Remy just falls over. He didn't even, that was not even a diving header. Look, he's just falling over. Travels through the goalkeeper and scores. As if he scored a 40 yard screamer, ladies and gentlemen. But at number one, the best bullshit goal of the week of episode 22. This is Borthiet on the wing. And I think he might cross the ball, will he? Yes, he's crossed the ball. And the defender sort of deals with this one. And the keeper, oh my god, it's happening again. And what's going to happen now? It's gone in. The keeper and that defender, two bits of bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. Where was that keeper going? And the defender, he tries to catch the ball on the line. This is quite incredible. He tries to catch the ball on the line, and I'm not sure who scores the rebound. There's a player injured on the floor. So much bullshit. Thievy Perfuma. Vivi Bafuma scores the goal. My word, what did he do there? And there's his defender. He's going to have a sore ass in the morning. But that's from the other players, not the ball. But anyway, at number one, ladies and gentlemen, this is Diamandi to Lemoyne. And Diamandi has a shot, saved by the keeper. And oh my god! The attacking player gets in front of the tank of a defender. I don't know how that happens. The defender is taken out. The keeper's completely shocked at what's going on. He doesn't even react. Minus three million for reaction attribute for the keeper. But look at this defender. He is absolutely taken out. And when he comes back down, he shows his ass to the attacking player. And the players are celebrating some sort of sexual ritual going on here. Look at this. Well, I hope you enjoyed top five bullshit goals of the week season edition. It will return when FIFA 16 comes out. I guarantee you that game is going to be bullshitty. But for the meantime, 
Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and thank you for watching.